Hey guys, um, somebody asked me on Twitter how to integrate high charts and why we use high charts because it's 10 times better than chat charts. Chat charts are awful and awkward to use. There is no support. Um, it's, it's, it's not an APEC thing and, and high charts is so much better. Uh, so I want to show you my integration. We use this for, I don't know, seven, eight years at least exclusively and for me it's the best and simplest uh, chart library I've ever came across. So you go to hightrust.com and so yeah so a lot of people using it right we're using it also at Siemens for like I said at least seven eight years exclusively. Um, so how do you do that. Um, so you can watch some demos over here. So they get a, a taste. This is what you get all with your with your single license, uh, different charts, ton of charts, types, and you can lay over one chart with another chart. So whatever you think you can do. And the nice thing is, if you click on something, you can go in JS Fiddle or Code Pen. And you see actually what is needed to make this happen. So you include this in, in, in HTML. I'll show you later how you do this in, 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 in um, Apex. Uh, this is the CSS styling you have for the, for the chart. And this is basically the configuration object in JavaScript. Uh, and you can um, actually... Um, Edit it live, right? So let's say I put this to false and it should recalculate. Yes, it does. So now I don't have any labels anymore. Right? So you can play around, you can create your charts the way you want to look them uh, and then put it them into Apex. It's a very nice uh, developer interface. And the good thing is whenever you have a, um, a support request, 99% of the times they just answer you with a chart and with a finished solution. You can copy and paste here in CodePen or Chase Fiddle in, in your Apex application, right? So that's really great. Um, so there is, besides the general uh, license, um, the JavaScript, um, I chart charts. You also have stock. This is in for an extra fee. You get stock charts, and then there is maps. I get yeah. There's maps for an extra fee. You have all the different map types if you need them, and and also gun charts if you need them. All right. Let's see what we talk about money wise. So perpetual. So a three hundred fifty dollar one time fee, and you're good to go. All right. Five developers. Use it, be happy, uh, no question asked. Um, so it's not a question, not a money question. You spend a hundred times more if you figure out how to make things work in, uh, in chat charts. Right? Um, and if you need stock charts, so it's another 350 one time fee, maps 123 and, and gone 70. So it's not a money thing, right? If you have this for your. <laughs> We, we, we bought one license uh, eight years ago for this price right? and, and use it uh, since then. All right, um, my colleague Matthias has provided a kind of cheat sheet. Um, I, I put this in the show notes. Um, let me look it up, how to integrate this into Apex. So first of all, you integrate the necessary JavaScript libraries. So you find them, let me go back to demos. Wait a minute, so let's find some simple, yeah, this one, this guy, all right? And go to Chase Fiddle, uh, please. Um, so these are the JavaScript libraries you need. If you want to have drill downs, I think this is drill down capability, you need a drill down. Uh, if you have high charts, you always need. This is the basic library. Uh, if you want to have, you have a lot of export capabilities. 
So you can download it as PNG file, JPEG file, PDF, stuff like that. Download data, I guess. I don't know. CSV, obviously, must be data. So if you want to have the download functionality, then uh, you need the uh, exporting JS library or export data probably for the uh, CSV export. See, accessibility, I don't know um, what this is. So probably <laughs> Anthony, sh Anthony must know <laughs> what this is. Um, so this is all the libraries you need. And uh, let's go back to the cheat sheet. So you put this somewhere um, into your Apex application, you know, wherever you want to have that. Uh, and then you have a simple region, um, a static region. And in the static region, you put a diff inside with an ID, with some ID, like you can reference later. So let's assume we have high charts container. And then you need to get the data. It's just simple. So you have two options, you can create this config chart, what we have over here, right? This is, uh, this is what you need to create for, the, for this chart. So you can, um, um, so now this is CSS, sorry, this is the config. This is the config, right? With, with, with the data, you see all the data. And normally we get the database from the database, of course. So our approach is to um, read just the data from the database as a JSON file and create the, the JavaScript config file inside Apex. You can also create everything in PLSQL, the complete, um, the complete uh, configuration object here, you can just do everything in PLSQL and get this back. We rather have the approach that um, we just get the data from the database as a JSON result and then create the config file inside Apex with JavaScript. This has the, uh, the, the, um, the advantage that um, you can redraw or redraw um, a, a chart without loading it from the server again, right? If, if, if you drill or I don't know, if you, if you change some filters, you can actually make a, a redraw and then, you know, the whole animation happens again. All right, so look into that. So I, I share this with you and put this link into the show note and, and also this in sample application. So this is, this, is what, this is a sample application. I also share the sample application with you. Uh, this is exactly the example we have here. Um, so, like I said, first, the first thing is you create a callback function, we call it get data, um, and you have select into JSON object. It's, it's a clop, it's simple a clop, and, um, and you get the, the, the categories and a series, right? So what you need for as, as the data. And this is the, we just get everything from this um, sample uh, data and oh, I need to wash my sheets. Yes, give me 15 minutes. Um, and you give JSON back, right? So you know how to, to do that, uh, to create a callback function and, and do that. And then in your page attributes uh, with function global variable definitions where you can, you know, let run JavaScript, you create, uh, let me, cut. oh yeah, you can highlight this, expand this, create. So what you do, you call this function, the, the, the callback function, the get data function, right? And you put a load, loading indicator into it. Uh, where you put it and, and where should it be. So the Apex server process, we know this, um, this Apex function. So, and then you get the data as JSON object back and it's in this L response uh, variable, right? And when this thing is done, 
then um, here we actually create this configuration object what you find here so this is what we are now building right we got the data the data is here uh, the the series the series and and, and the actually uh, the data this is what we got from the database and um, and now we build everything around the so-called configuration object which is also just a JSON object. Okay, so this is high charts. It always starts with high chart chart. What type of chart is it and what type and blah, blah, blah. So then you have a title and, and a subtitle or not and X, X axis and whatnot. So this is all in the documentation, very well documented, all this thing. Uh, so I have a great, great uh, developer documentation there and so you build this up and um, and then you fill in the data categories over here right with um, x-axis and this is basically this stuff here and we also should have the data data let me data series here we go right here is then the actual data. And this is what happens in the success. If case, if the server process is actually bringing data back, right? Which always should be always the case unless the, the SQL is faulty. And if it's fail, right? You just put something in the log. That's all. So pretty simple. I think, and once you have that, uh, you're good to go and you can play around. You, like I said, you develop over here, all the fancy stuff you want, create your chart completely finished with test data. And then once you have this framework in place, which is always the same, uh, there is no, no problem, no troubles anymore to get all the charts in there. And you have a lot of uh, functionality like like I said, export, download, um, drill down, whatnot. Uh, also resizing, make everything large in an apex if you have this resize region, right, to make it large. Uh, very, very great solution. Great people who developed that, great support. It's, it should be, this should be in the heart of apex right from the beginning right but i guess they need to eat their own dog food so they have to use chat and me and a lot of other people i know personally are not very happy with this chat uh, decision but that's politics but you don't have to use chat fortunately so it's um, now it's a should be a 10 minutes effort for you to replace the cumbersome chat charts with this nice high charts. There's also a free version to play around with. All right, so I put everything in the show notes so that the, the sample app and, and, and this, what Matthias did. Um, if you have any questions, you know how to find me. <laughs>